Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with our Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about our faxing. Now, we do have two different methods of faxing. We have our website and our email. Now, we can send and receive via both our website and our email, and I'm going to show you how to do both today. Now, to receive from our website, we're going to click on this faxing tab right here. Once you click on that faxing tab, any faxes that are received are received automatically and will populate in a row right here, just like you can see from this fax here. Now you can tell it has been received because under direction, status, and status details, you can see it says received. Now to view a fax in its full size, all you gotta do is click on this image right here on the left, which will be the top page or only page, depending on how many pages were sent. Click on that image, and it'll open it up in a brand new tab in your internet browser. And then you can view it in its full size. And you'll be able to print and download from the top right corner of this tab. Once you're all done with that tab, you can just close it. And it's going to take you right back to the faxing tab in the Mango website. Now, to send from our Mango website, all you have to do is click this new fax button right here. Once you click that, it's going to open up a small window with your fax number auto-populated in there as the caller ID. Then all you have to do is put in the fax2 number and just the 10 digits. You don't want to add a 1 at the beginning and it won't let you do parentheses or dashes, just those 10 digits. From that point, you'll want to see if you can send yourself an email. Now, you don't have to do this, but you are welcome to. By checking that box, you're going to be sending an email to the address that we type in here. Now, you don't have to do this again, but if you'd like to, you'll just type in the email address. And then that's all set. Now, this will send you a notification that the status was delivered. That way you can be notified once the recipient has received that fax. Right here is where we're going to upload our files. So if we click in this box, it'll let us pick the file that we want to fax. Now, we recommend that you use a PDF file as they give you the greatest quality when sending it in this manner. And when you scan in your own documents, we do have some setting recommendations as well. To scan in, we recommend that it's a PDF file with the resolution setting set to 300 DPI, that's dots per inch and that the page size is set to eight and a half by 11. Now this setting is particularly important. Every fax uses an eight and a half by 11 page. If you scan it in too small or too large, it will automatically adjust to fit on that page size and that can heavily distort the document on the receiving end, potentially making it illegible. So make sure that the page settings are set to eight and a half by 11. Now you're gonna find the document you want to send and click open and it's going to populate right here in that window now it is going to tell you the size of the document that you're faxing this one is 0.4 megabytes anything that is bigger than 20 will not send so if it is 20 or greater you will want to break that into multiple faxes now once you're ready to send you just click the send button it'll process complete and it'll be on its way and then it's going to populate right here with some of the same information. So we're going to have the date, the time, the source number, the number that we faxed to, and then the direction says sent. So we know that that is sent as opposed to the one below, which was received. And that is how you send and receive faxes with our Mango website. Next, I'm going to show you how to send and receive from your email address, provided that it's properly configured. Now, we do configure these at the time of startup, and we can add more email addresses than just the one if you want, but we usually only do just the one. So to receive, it'll populate in your inbox just like a regular email. It'll say from Mango Voice Fax. So you just click into that email and then click on the attached document. Again, you'll view it in its full size and you can download and print directly from the top right again. When you're done, you can click anywhere else just to dismiss that page or close the window if it opens up in a new window. Now to send from any email address, you'll click compose like you would for any other email. And the address that you're sending it to is going to be the fax number 
And this is the step that's important at faxmango.com. Now, the fa at faxmango part can easily be misunderstood at mangofax.com. So, what I like to recommend is to think about it in alphabetical order. The at symbol starts at A, then fax, then mango.com, of course. Once you have that put in there, the subject and the body can be completely blank. Or you can put whatever information you'd like in here. It will not populate on the facts. I do like to put something in the subject, just so I can track it in my own inboxes if necessary. Now, you'll attach the file just like you would any other attachment for any other email. Once that file is uploaded, you will want to verify that the size is still under 20 megabytes. This is 433 kilobytes, so we're far below the maximum allowed. We'll click send, and that fax is now on its way. Now, anytime you do send an, a fax via your email, that status delivered email that we mentioned earlier, you will receive one of those automatically. So if we come back to our email here, it shows status delivered. Now you will receive this anytime you check that box in our website or if you send from the, your email address. And that's all there is to faxing with Mango Voice. Thank you again for joining me today with your Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.